Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a bookshelf tour. So I'm just going to say a couple quick things before we get started. I am going to do a tour of my bookshelves with a voiceover, but I am not the happiest with where my shelves are at right now, but it's also not going to change soon. So this is just kind of a little thing that I'm going to do theoretically every year just to kind of see how my cha how my shelves have changed and how they have grown. So they may not look the nicest, but I'm trying. And then when I do another one of these, hopefully like next year, it'll be so much better. But yeah, so I will go through. I prob I won't read off like every single book that I have, I'll just kind of give the vibe for the shelf and if you want to just sit there and pause the video to look at every book that I have, feel free to do so. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a bit of a mess, but that's just kind of how they're going to have to be for now and it will be okay. So let's just jump right into it. So the top shelf is the messiest shelf that I have. This is where I keep all of my craft books and dictionaries and just books that I don't really talk about on my channel and kind of only go to when I'm looking for something specific. I also have my Kindle up here and I have um, the start of a decoration that says home. I have other letters on other shelves, but as you can see, these are just a bunch of dictionaries and I've even got Harry Potter in Russian and just kind of some random books that they don't really fit anywhere aesthetic on my shelf, so I kind of just shove them all up there. I've got a few decorations on top of my shelf, uh, mostly wedding decorations and then a Christmas decoration that escaped. The next shelf down has, um, again, the O for the home, and this is where I have Twilight on the left and all of my classics on the right, and a few other overflow books that I have stacked on top. A lot of them I bought for classes, or like I said, these are my classics as well as Twilight and some older books, so I kind of just keep them there, again, a little out of sight, out of mind. Now this next shelf I tried something new with. I have a bunch of my uh, thriller horror books stacked on the right and they kind of, once they get out of the horror genre, they kind of go in by color. So I tried to have like the black go into purple, into blue. And then I have um, the dance book on top. But then on the other side, I have some books that kind of crescendo in color as well, going from white to gray to green. And a lot of my trilogies are here, or not a lot, but I have a few trilogies on the shelf. I'm pretty proud of how this one turned out, considering I have very little space for a lot of these books. And here, actually, I did just switch Tiny Pretty Things and the two Shona McGuire books that I have of The Wayward Children. As I was filming, I decided that it would probably fit better and it looked nicer and it just made more sense for Tiny Pretty Things to not be in between the horror, but in fact be next to Love Boat Taipei, which is another dance themed book that I have. These are books that I very much enjoy and very much liked, but I just don't have enough room to really categorize them in the way I want to. So like I said, I'm not going to read off every title for you, but hopefully this was enough time for you to be able to look at everything I have, otherwise you can always pause the video to look through. Then if we move to the shelf below it, these are my favorites, and they tend to be most of my mythology and fantasy books. So I have a little decoration that just says bibliophile with a couple books by it. It's really hard to see on camera, but it looks really nice in person. So these are somewhat sorted by color as well as material. I used to have it sorted by uh, mythology geography, um, but I just don't think that quite fit my shelves to the best of their ability. So I have a lot of my light colored books 
on the right and then it goes into the darker colored books on the left again i tried to keep like uh, a school for good and evil sweet and bitter magic and spin the dawn have a very similar color scheme so i did try and keep those together even though um subject wise they don't really stay the same other than these are just some of my favorite books and i love to see them and then my bottom shelf is a little messy but it, it, i'm okay with it. it makes me happy so i've got sabriel the trilogy as well as two other of garth nix's books facing out so you can see sabriel but i also have a uh, lyriel and Parson behind it i'm currently reading happily ever after so that's why it was kind of on display in front so i can just pick it up when i'm ready to read it but behind it are all of my contemporary books and i have them in rainbow order because i think contemporary in rainbow is just so pretty and then on top of it i have my graphic novels and my manga so those are just kind of the image based books and then to the right of sabriel i have series that aren't finished for the most part so the inheritance gains uh percy jackson i do have the tea dragon society i don't know if that is finished or not um, but then above it are all series that I don't have all the books in, but I have read all of them. So this entire bookshelf are all books that I have read. Whereas when we go to the next bookshelf, it will be books that I have not read for the most part. But first I want to point out to the left of this bookshelf, I have a small stack of books that are the books I'm going to unhaul, and then there is a closet. These are books that either belong to the library or belong to a friend of mine, so books that I don't own, books that I need to give back. And then the bottom shelf on the shelf to the right of the one we were just looking at, it's my half shelf, it's not super tall, but it is pretty wide. Um, on the left, all pretty much all the books that you can see right now are on red and are on my TBR, books that I want to read. But as I remove that book decoration of these cute little hearts, there reveals some series that I actually have read and just don't necessarily want to put on display. I mean, I'm a big fan of the selection. I loved it when I read it and I will still stand by it now. But it's not necessarily something that I need in the background of all my videos or not necessarily the first thing I want people to see when they come into our home and look at my shelves. Um, so I just kind of keep the decoration there for now. Moving up, this is probably my main focus shelf of this whole unit. Um, so from Divergent to the right are all books I've read except for Curse of the Spectre Queen. I'm in the middle of reading that one. And hopefully I will finish it soon. But everything to the left of Divergent and everything laying on top of all the books are books I have not read and they're most likely the ones I'm going to get to sooner rather than later. And then I have the Harry Potter series. I acquired all of these books before JK Rowling came out with her terrible views, so I am not getting rid of them uh, because I did very much enjoy them, but I very much also don't want them on display, which is why I tend to put one of my current read books there in front of them, as well as my little square decoration. Right now it says, home is where my heart is, and it has a whole bunch of sayings on different sides. But yeah, this is just kind of the middle shelf. Now it says be our guest. And then stay a while. I like to flip it every once in a while just to have something new, but I don't always remember. Now we move, this is the top shelf on this little half shelf here. And I have Anna of Cleve, which at the time of filming, I was currently reading. Um, but as of the narration, I've actually finished it, so it has moved on top of the books. I have a little candle, it says home sweet home, it's really hard to see on camera, but it is white, and I think it just brightens up the dark books. So, on the left, from Lovely War to the left, are all my historical fiction. Everything historical fiction that I've owned. I read all of it except for The Help, which hopefully I will read this summer. And then everything to the right is obviously my Disney Twisted Tales. These are sorted by if I've read them or not. So, starting with As Old As Time through Concealed Don't Feel, so those first 
five books I've read. All the other ones I have not yet gotten to, but I hope to do a reading vlog of me reading all or quite a few of those books just to catch up and have a fun little themed week or two of reading the Twisted Tales. Now on top of the shelf, it's a, it's a horrendous mess, but that is because none of these books are mine. These are all my husband's books. He doesn't have a place for his books. He doesn't have his own shelf because he doesn't have enough books to fill a shelf. But I also have so many more books than him that I need to take up most of the shelf space. So I just kind of pile all of his books here. He's got elephant bookends to keep them safe on top of the shelf. In the middle is actually a photo album of all of his childhood pictures, but then there is a whole row of books behind, and he has a very um, interesting reading taste because he doesn't really like to own books. So a lot of these were gifts to him, or he bought because of school, or I may have bought for him, um, but he just doesn't read quite as much as I do. Now, I do have a bookshelf in our bedroom that we just very recently acquired, and here I've decided to put more books that I haven't read, and books that I hope to either get to soon or I don't want on the main shelf for one reason or another. I've got a couple books that I've got multiple copies of because my friend gets so many books and she sends them to me, but sometimes I have multiple copies, so a lot of the um, extra copies are on the shelf until I figure out what I want to do with them, how if I want to um, unhaul them to a free little library or try and sell them somewhere or give them to someone else who might enjoy. Um, this shelf really is just this one shelf here with just random books that I have not read yet. It does have my bullet journal and another journal that I take notes in and just anything uh, bookish related. I've also got a couple of bookmarks on the shelf there just in case I pick a book up off the shelf and start reading. So yeah, I have like sweaters and fuzzy socks on the shelves above. I'm debating whether or not I want to try and move some of that to make more space for books. Just okay, to thank you all so much for watching this very messy bookshelf tour. Like I said, it's it. My bookshelves are just going to be messy for a while, and so that's why, like, even though I may reorganize and do some changing in the near future or far future, they're just always going to be messy, pretty much. Hopefully, until next year, maybe next year I can have a cleaner bookshelf, but we'll we'll see. So I thought now is as good a time as any because it's just always going to be messy. So like I said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see a more polished book tour once my shelves are hopefully a little bit cleaner, let me know. Like, is this a video you enjoy? Otherwise, I do have bookish social media down below. Feel free to follow me and I will follow you back and we can become bookish friends and give each other recommendations and chat and all that jazz. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe and make videos and post them every Sunday and Wednesday. And make sure you hit the bell to be notified when I do post so that you can watch them whenever you're ready. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.